Attorney General Wagner Carr has asked that Jack Ruby be given a polygraph test to determine once and for all what prompted him to shoot Lee Harvey Oswald. This device here at my right is a polygraph erroneously called a lie detector. One of the foremost authorities on this device is Mr. Andrew L. Smith of Dallas. Mr. Smith heads Truth Verification, an organization which has conducted more than 200,000 such tests to determine the honesty of job applicants, verify the innocence of employees falsely accused of thefts from business firms. Mr. Smith pioneered in polygraph work as far back as 1930. I asked Mr. Smith if a polygraph test on Mr. Ruby would be valid at this time. No one can take a polygraph test unless he is mentally alert, physically fit, and capable of responding to the physiological responses of stress. There is, you cannot give a test to a person who has a fever or is under mental duress or strain. He must voluntarily, with his own free will, come in to take this test and he must be physically able to respond physiologically. What about the medicines that Mr. Ruby is, uh, is taking now? Might they have a bearing on the validity or accuracy of a test if given at this time? Well, truly, I'm not qualified to give a medical opinion. But the, in the normal treatment of cancer, at least the ones that I have been personally exposed to, I would say that they would affect the physiological responses of the test.